Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach and trainer, and this is the question I'm answering today. Teddy, did you turn on the follow button by default on your LinkedIn profile? And if so, why and how do you do it? So I did turn on the follow button, and let me show you what I'm referring to. And this is my test account, so I can show you things that I can't see from my account. So this is my buddy, Kim Williams. He's second level to this test account, and he has the connect button there. But if you look under here, under more, there's the follow button. Okay, that's the default location of the connect and the follow button. And if you look at my friend, Mark Williams from the UK, you'll see by default. He has the follow button on the front side of his LinkedIn profile. And under more would be the connect button. In this case, it's the pending. You just send him an invite from this test account. But that wouldn't typically say connect. I'm getting far too many invites from people who are not relevant to me. I would rather most of those people follow me. Now, the reason I want them to follow me is because just like Mark, we both share a lot of content on LinkedIn, and we want people to be able to get value from that content. And by following us, they'll see that content in their LinkedIn newsfeed. So that, that's why we switched it. Get, we're getting too many invites from the wrong people, but yet we still want people to follow us. Now, how do you make this change? It's really pretty easy to make this change. It's under me, settings and privacy. It's under the privacy tabs, down near the bottom. Here it is right here, blocking and hiding followers. So here's where you make the decision to allow either everyone on LinkedIn to be able to follow you or only your connections. By the way, if you're going to allow everyone on LinkedIn to follow you, then when you publish content on LinkedIn, you should make sure that you're posting for everyone and not just your connections. A side note there. So you've allowed people to follow you by selecting that. Now, if you want to make follow primary versus connect, then you have to turn this on. And this moves the follow button to the top side of your LinkedIn profile and moves the connect button under more. Make a decision if you want people to follow your content. And I recommend that be, it be yes. Then make a decision if you've gotten enough in, if you're getting way too many invites to connect from the wrong people, then flip the location of the follow and the connect button in your profile and be more purposeful about who you send invites out to. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn coach and trainer. I hope that is helpful.